Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on October 12th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Still watching large plasma prominences dancing on the surface right now all around the sun equator and the north pole looking at the last 48 hours incoming cresting into view a couple small sunspot regions and a little eruption there from a probably a m-class solar flare on the back side of the sun did create quite a cme look at the last 48 hours outgoing this is where we saw some plasma there dancing very tall across the surface of the sun and then along the equator there so heads up looking at the last 48 hours multi-spectrum that little dance of the satellite imagery there that was a recalibration of satellite systems happens every so often showing here the major last major events of the last 48 hours notable the coronal hole that has been earth facing now for the past 24 hours, a watch for our solar winds to increase from that particular coronal hole that was Earth facing. Our solar winds right now are at about 300 and we'll probably see them get upwards of 600 to 700 kilometers per second from this coronal hole wind stream when it comes. So stay tuned, we'll be giving you updates and check out the live stream at any time. You can check out imagery. Another image here, 171 angstroms, showing the active seven sunspots across the surface of the sun. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar wind speed right here, 315 kilometers per second. And space weather will be changing here over the next 24 hours from that coronal hole wind stream. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range after seeing two M-class solar flares the past 48 hours and a C-class today. Geomagnetic activity is very low as we are in that blue zero space weather right now in the void. Little yellow planet was us. Having a look at Lasco 2, this is the last three days of imagery. Sun diving comet coming from the right hand side there right before a huge explosion on the other side of the sun and even on the surface where it went into the sun. We're gonna have a closer look at that here, but this is the last four days of imagery showing multiple CMEs taking off from the Northwest and then the North Pole region, and then a massive one there on the back side of the sun. And then just recently, a couple more CMEs today. Stay tuned as they have not updated the ISWA space prediction spiral yet. Closer look at the latest CMEs. There's that sun diving comet and the massive eruption, pretty much antipode to where it possibly hit. And then an equatorial blast, double CME just today. Now let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been pretty slow, low numbers right now. USGS reporting under 200 earthquakes in the 24 hour period. Nikolskoy, Alaska, the largest in the northern region, 118 kilometer depth though, 5.6 magnitude earthquake, followed by a 4.4, also activity through Kamchatka. This has been a very active region Recently, I've been noting about it and talking about it. 4.1 there, the Russian-Mongolia border. It's a bit rare. 5.2 earthquake, Taiwan. 5.2 earthquake there in the Banda Sea, East Banda Sea. And this is the largest the last 24 hours. Yesterday, west of Macquarie Island, south of the Australian Plate, 6.3 earthquake. That is a large earthquake for that region. And deep earthquakes today being 561 kilometer depth and a 511 kilometer depth in the Fiji region. Let's get over to the Indian Plate, 4.8 there. And Nepal reported today as well a large 4.6. And 
uh, Tajikistan and a 4.5 there, Turkey. And that has been a very active region as of late as well with the 6.3 earthquake in Afghanistan. Just give you a little show there, the last seven days just in that region. 4.9 reported there, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, and as well through the Central America here, 4.7 off the coast of Panama and Nicaragua northward. Minor activity there, west of Yellowstone. This is the last of seven days for shakers around the world. No major swarms to talk about, but very quiet in between uh, Alaska down into South America. We've seen lots of activity, Indian Plate and West Pacific Plate. Even the Australian plate with the large 6.3, Macquarie Island. That's the last seven days for shakers around the world. Heads up everybody, stay aware and prepared. Just be ready if you live in an earthquake prone zone because we are going through some pretty crazy times for earthquakes. So heads up. Now let's get to volcanoes and the most recent satellite imagery provided here. We've got Popopoketatol in Mexico, Dekono in Indonesia, a couple tornado warnings there, Hastings, New England, Shevelich volcano in Russia, multiple flood warnings across the United States and as well China, Swiss and Najima volcano in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Mayan in the Philippines, Sangay in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Sabankaya in Peru. Multiple landslides reported. Every continent being re extreme weather events are occurring. Klitschevskoy in Russia, Semeru in Indonesia, and Ibu in Indonesia. And last but not least, Luatolo in Indonesia. So that's quite a few volcanoes getting updated today out of the possible 60 volcanoes that are active and or erupting. Having a look here, satellite imagery, Pacific Cyclone literally made it across uh, Mexico and into the Gulf. And interesting system developing across the Atlantic right now as there will be an atmospheric river hitting a Europe in the long range. Tropical Storm Sean in the Atlantic and Super Typhoon Bolvin, who was a Category 4 typhoon, heading north, northeastward, missing in Japan. But this thing is expected to hit the west coast of North America in the long range. Having a look over Europe and Africa, atmospheric river of moisture coming in from the Atlantic, affecting most of Central Europe. And two low pressure systems there. And Looking at wave heights here over the Pacific Ocean as Super Typhoon Bolivin will be coming up with 11 meter waves. But that northern low in Alaska will be bringing 15 meter waves. So watch for some very high tides here, BC coastline and north into Alaska and as well all across the Aleutian Islands as these large lows will be coming across the North Atlantic. Big system in the long range is going to dramatically change our weather for the North America. Dipping quickly into winter. Having a look here over Europe as the same thing is happening in the North Atlantic. Very large lows, tight isobars there, so very strong winds. And as well, some very high waves. Some points across Greenland, it's upwards of 13 meters high. In these forecasts, anyway, brought to you by Windy.com. Now let's look at weather here as multiple low-pressure systems are affecting Europe and northward, especially Finland, Sweden. Huge low-pressure system there. Bring on the snow as things are really starting to get cold across Russia right now. Daily evaporation rains across Africa, but nothing major to report. And... 
through parts of India. A dry spell coming to you. Low pressure systems developing. Cyclones possibly developing. Heading for Yemen in the long range. Overlooking Australia and the West Pacific. As we watch Super Typhoon Bolivin go north through the Pacific around that high pressure ridge and then just south of the Aleutian Islands and then on its way in the long range towards northern BC and Alaska. Interesting system developing for Australia in the long range too. More details coming in the next forecast with daily events worldwide. We've got a lot to cover and catch you up on. Overlooking North America, big system here developing across central United States. And as well, multiple low pressure systems. No major snow events to report just yet. But watch for the northern low from Hudson Bay. And as well, the northern low. Uh, Northern Pacific low pressure system, Super Typhoon, Bolivin, and others to dramatically change the jet stream here heading into winter of 2023. This low pressure system, quite possibly in the long range, could have some snow with it because these temperatures are dropping. Long range, nothing much higher than 13 degrees Celsius, even down into the United States there through New Madrid. Higher elevation, temp cold temperatures. Now here we are. This is the southern hemisphere polar vortex right now. Looking pretty funky. Definitely. A little oblonged. And looks like there's two very solid rotations across our magnetic south. And true magnetic south, I guess. Because if we got it in the north, we got it in the south. Compared to last year. And then this year, last year, and this year. Now, I do believe that we've seen a dramatic change, and you can see it is evident here with Null School looking at the upper level winds. This is our northern hemisphere right now, polar vortex, gaining some strength. When you see the reds, those are stronger winds. And eventually they will be ramping up to looking like the Southern Hemisphere. Stay tuned as it will be broadcasting a daily and keeping you up to date. Here's another look at another way to look at our upper level winds. Kind of the flat earthers map. Here you are, everybody. For all those flat earthers out there, here are the upper level winds on a flat map. I'm kidding. I, I, I don't know. It's just, I thought it was kind of funny. Maybe not. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of Daily Events Worldwide. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Showing the dramatic changes in our upper level winds. Here with Null School. Last year versus this year. Strong El Nino. This year. Interesting upper level winds last year through the North Atlantic. And this is 2023, folks. So big changes are evident and visible here. Much love to y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We just had pretty recent earthquakes here. Uh, 4.6 in Lada, Solomon Islands, and as well... Kirillsk, Russia, with a 5.1 earthquake. Come and check out the live stream at any time. Say hi. Check up on our world. Chat with friends and family from around the world. Thanks for your patience and your love and support for the channel. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.